Faster, clearer results might be expected in Asia, but Obama has given the Israeli-Palestinian challenge pride of place. The U.S. president failed to move forward on this in his first four years in office. Landing in Israel on Wednesday, it looked like he was ready to try again, but without ultimatums or quantified promises. As I begin my second term as president, Israel is the first stop on my first foreign trip. This is no accident. Across this region, the winds of change bring both promise and peril. So I see this visit as an opportunity to reaffirm the unbreakable bond between our nations, to restate America's unwavering commitment to Israel's security, and to speak directly to the people of Israel and to your neighbors. Almost straight off the Air Force One plane, Obama was shown a sample of the anti-missile missile system Israel has developed, Iron Dome, with a great deal of U.S. funding help. The motto of the much-vaunted attack deterrent, built by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is smart and to the point. Obama swiftly made light of past tensions with host Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, where, where do you want to start? Because I'd love uh, to take a look at We are following this. the red line, oh, sir. Following no. the red line, okay. You can see a man behave this tendency of red lines all the time, right? right? Red line. He's always talking to me red about red line. line. <laughs> <laughs> An Arab-Israeli heckler in Jerusalem during Obama's speech to Israeli university students questioned how genuine the guests' intentions were, but the speaker got a standing ovation. Israelis must recognize that continued settlement activity is counterproductive to the cause of peace and that an independent Palestine must be viable with real borders that have to be drawn. Obama overflew checkpoints and concrete to visit Ramallah in the West Bank. He did not demand that Jewish settlement building here be halted, as his Palestinian Authority host, President Mahmoud Abbas, says must precede any resumption of talks for peace solutions. The core issue right now is how do we get a sovereignty for the Palestinian people and how do we assure security for the Israeli people? And that's the essence of this negotiation. And uh, that's not to say settlements are not important, it is to say that if we solve those two problems, the settlement problem will be solved. Many Palestinians were disappointed with what they saw as Obama's commitment evasiveness.